welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to actually be tackling my living room dining room and kitchen what I'm gonna be doing today is a deep cleaning it's not something that I do on a daily basis but I tend to do at least hopefully once a month I can't really say I do this monthly because I don't it is something that I need to feel the need to do or it gets really really dirty and then I'm like I need to take care of that but anyhow I have a list of things that I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the things that I need to get done today okay, okay. so here we go guys these are the things that I need to get done I need to clean the bathroom downstairs vacuum the floors and the carpet downstairs I need to steam clean the carpet dust the blinds in the windowsill clean the French doors and glass door uh, wipe down the couches, polish the tables, clean the mirrors, wipe down the kitchen cabinets, wipe down the appliances, clean the microwave and the vent. That's that little vent that goes underneath your microwave that kind of sucks up all that air and stuff from your stove. Um, that's pretty gross. But um, clean the windows in the kitchen, vacuum and mop the kitchen, unpack the dishwasher and pack all the dirty dishes into it. So yeah guys, so I have a lot to do and not a lot of time, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here I'm going to start at my front door. This uh, glass door doesn't seem dirty from this angle, but it was pretty dirty with all the kids' fingerprints and whatnot on it. So I'm going to give it a quick wipe down and make it look all good again. Okay, so I'm just gonna get behind this couch and go ahead and get these blinds all dusted. Like I said earlier, I tend to do this once a month, sometimes every couple months, but just to give them a light dusting like this kind of keeps them clean and in the spring, I'll really take them off and really wash them down and wash them really well in the springtime. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna dust also the windowsills and you know, then I'll go ahead and give it a good wipe down. So to clean the window sills, I'm using the Mrs. Myers Apple Cider Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I, this is my fall favorite. I love it. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should give it a try. It smells like fall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and light my fall candle. I think it's always a nice idea to have a candle or wax melts going in the background while you clean. It just makes everything smell so good and gives you that cleaning motivation smell, you know? So I'm just gonna be giving my tables, my side tables, my coffee table, um, a good wipe down with the method wood for good and the almond scent this one smells amazing as well um, just giving them a quick wipe down nothing too special going on here I tend to wipe down these tables once a week so they're not too too dusty so to clean my couches I use the Grove Collaborative's uh, Castile soap and the citrus scent I use some very warm water and I throw some Castile soap in there and a rag and I just wipe down the couches with that. In my opinion, it actually cleans the furniture better. It also has olive oil in it, so the olive oil helps to condition and give the furniture a nice shine. And I've used the other leather cleaners, but I really don't like how they leave a residue behind. But this one just cleans it really well and it makes it smell really good. So yeah, that's what I use on my couches. Hand in my hand 
Okay, so I'm gonna just get this rug out of here because I'm about to mop here as well and also steam clean that carpet. I'm just changing out my mop head really quick and try to get these floors mopped up now. Um, I like to use the Clorox Fragrancia fragrance. Um, I only get it at the Family Dollar Store. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but oh my god, this thing smells amazing. But that's what I'm going to use to be mopping the floors today. doors that lead to my back patio. I use a mixture of vinegar, dish soap, and water to clean all of my mirrors and windows and everything and it is the most amazing thing. It's streak free and it actually cleans better than any other glass cleaner I've used. It's literally a cup of vinegar, a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap, and water and it cleans it so so well, like streak free. So I don't know if you can tell, but these windows were super clean. They were street free and super clear. Um, so if you're looking for a cleaner, you can give this a try. It definitely will save you tons of money and it works wonders. Okay, so here's what we got done so far. I vacuumed that half of the floor. I vacuumed the carpet. I dusted the blinds, window sills, I cleaned the French door, the glass door to the front, I wiped down the couches, polished the tables, and now I'm just going to move on to steam cleaning the carpet. 
Okay guys, so I also make my own carpet cleaner. I put do not drink on the bottle because it is in a juice bottle, but it's stored in our laundry room and my kids knows this carpet cleaner. But it's a lot cheaper making it than it is to actually buy it in the grocery stores because I feel like it's so expensive for a bottle of carpet cleaner and it's safe for the machine. I've been using it for a long time and it's a lot cheaper. It smells better and it cleans it so much better than the store bought cleaners. I'll leave the recipe in the description box down below so if you're interested go ahead and check it out and I highly recommend it. Okay so on to seam cleaning the carpet. Um, I went in every different direction to make sure I covered all my bases on the carpet and as you keep watching you'll see it goes from like a taupe to a beige and that's the unfortunate thing about having a light colored carpet is that it everything shows up on it so it has to be cleaned regularly but that I just wanted you guys to see how well the homemade carpet cleaner worked and I'm so pleased with it and it works really really great and this carpet just looked so clean when I was done so yeah Okay, so here we are in the dining room area. Not a ton to do in here. I just need to pick up some stuff that we had laying around um, and just give the table a good wipe down, clean the mirrors, and clean that buffet table that I have over there. That, I'm going to take all the stuff off of it and give it a good dusting and wipe down. And then I should be able to just vacuum in here and mop. So that's pretty much what's going to go on in here.
So now I moved on to the kitchen. I'm just gonna get all the counters cleared and that way I can start um, deep cleaning a little bit in here. Of course, I'm gonna light a candle because you know, you need a little pumpkin spice in your life. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get the counters cleaned down, um, unpack the dishwasher and actually pack all the dirty dishes in there so that I can get on to actually wiping down all of my kitchen cabinets. So before I start wiping down my kitchen cabinets, I'm actually going to go ahead and wipe down these little shelves on my kitchen island. In these baskets, I keep like my potatoes, my onions, garlic, and some fruits so that, you know, they're easily accessible to everyone right there. But yeah, I'm just going to give them a quick wipe down and then I'll move on to cleaning the kitchen cabinet. Okay, so now I moved on to finally kitchen, cleaning the kitchen cabinets. So on the glass parts, I'm using my vinegar mixture that I made. And on the wooden parts, I'm actually using the Mrs. Meyers apple cider um, all-purpose cleaner. And I'm gonna just wipe them down really well. The, this is something I tend to do like every couple months because you know these cabinets can get really really sticky and dirty from cooking and stuff that happens so I try to do this every couple months as well and the all-purpose cleaner works really well and it cleans all the gooeyness and stuff off of it easily which is you know really nice so yeah I will follow you Now I'm just removing my microwave vents and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning those right now. So to clean them, what I do is I fill the sink with hot water and with the Method heavy duty degreaser I spray them and then I soak them in the hot water and my water out of my faucet is super hot and just let them sit there. I also add some Dawn dish soap in there and give it a quick zhuzh just to, because Dawn is really good for degreasing. So this actually worked really well. You'll see how it turns out in the end. That I, I will stand by you forever And I won't waste it
So I'm gonna use my little brush here. It's a bubble up brush that I have. And I'm gonna use that to kind of scrub these vents out really well. And this brush worked really well because it got really into the grooves and everything of the, the little filters. And yeah, just soaking it in that water and everything. It, it looked pretty good when I was done with it. So I was really pleased by the way it turned out. Kiss me, I can't believe that I am yours and you are mine. You took the pain away, didn't mind my scars and my broken heart. Life was dull until you came, now I see in color again. It could rain, I don't mind if it pours, cause I'm right next to you. Okay guys, so here's the kitchen. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what went down. The cabinets came out really, really good and they were all cleaned. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and move on to the last thing I have on my list, which is the bathroom downstairs. Um, I haven't gotten to that yet. Um, if you did see the clock, it was already almost eight o'clock at this point, so I was just like, trying to get done as quick as I possibly could. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do right now is get that all cleaned up. Okay, so here I am. I moved on to the toilet. It's not gonna take very long to clean this bathroom because it's just a half bath, so it's really quick. Just a matter of taking out the trash, cleaning the toilet, giving it a good wipe down, cleaning the sink. Um, it's a pedestal sink, so not a whole lot to do there and of course vacuuming and mopping the floors but guys by this time i was so exhausted it was seven hours into cleaning this entire day of course i stopped to go get my kids from school and you know i fed my family dinner things like that went down so i just wanted to get done at this point and you know have this video out to you guys so Again, I appreciate all of you watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some motivation to do these little things which, you know, end up being some tedious things that we need to do in our homes and I hope it gives you the motivation to get your stuff done and, and maybe it gave you some ideas on, on what products and things to use to get it looking right. So, so yeah, so thanks so much guys.
Okay, if you're still with me on this video, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a really, really long video, and I wanted to do one of these extremely long videos for you guys. So here you are. I hope it gave you all the motivation. Um, it took a long time, but everything got done. I was able to get that gratification of crossing off everything on the list, so that was nice. So if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Love to have you. And until next time, guys, thank you so much. Bye.